Greetings, everyone. <laughs> Shara Bouchard's fascination. And yes, it is a bit futuristic today, isn't it? Uh, so with this look, we are going to do that. I did say I might do some sort of futuristic thing. And I think when I made this garment, that's when the future of that started. So, uh, what we're going to do today is use my Kakari Butterfly Effect Palette, the Oakland Cosmetics Metal, Liquid Metal Eyeshadow Palette, and some from uh, Vegas. So, the only thing I'm going to be using off of this, probably just the mirror. <laughs> right. Might as well. I have it. So what we're going to start with is wetting the brush. Because I do find that if you don't wet the brush, you like things don't give you very much payoff. Um, so what we're going to go into over here is get away. And you'd be like thinking, hey, wouldn't you be using the blue tone? I could. There is a little bit of a lavender tone in the material. It's kind of a bluish lavender thing going on. Again, some of my videos aren't going to take very long and some of them will be a little bit longer. I do have some, you know, feedback. I'm not going to say complaints. I'm going to say feedback on, you know, length of video, but the same people that sit and give me the feedback on that, some of their videos are a bit on the long side, and I deal with it, and I'm alright with it. Like, so it's alright. Can't get mad at that. Sometimes feedback is good. So, um, the next I'm going to go into... Seashore. <laughs> I couldn't say that other word. Seashore. I'm going to take that right there. And blend. Because we're blending with people. See how that is with the eye. You guys give me some feedback on this camera. If you think it's made a difference in my channel, I would love to know. So next we're just going to come over here to the Hikari palette and go into Fusion. Which I'm surprised I didn't even do that. It's a fusionarily small. Um, <laughs> future humor there. Fusion or fission? Which would you rather have for a vision? Or a look? And then we're just going to take this all in Blend, blend. Like I said, this brush right here. You could just take this brush and also use it as a blending brush. And it's great for that as well. It's not just your eyeshadow brush. It's a blending brush. So clean up that brush. Spray it again. I'm gonna try to pick up some shimmer tone. Um I'm trying to think of which palette. I think this palette, no, no, this, well, no, it has this right here. You, you see that right there. Um, and I think the only way I'm really going to get that on my eye is if I do that. Yeah, see? Mm -hmm. It's the only way that's going to get on my eye. I said it was going to use the other mirror. 
you share that. It's like right here saying, yeah, you're good. Go back to more. Have you ever felt like you get more payoff on one eye than you do the other? I don't know what's up with that. Sometimes, sometimes it happens. So, you know, like when we go in here, I'm actually going to use the blue, which I don't really use a lot. But today, I mean, like, look at that color. Pretty. Sometimes the payoff isn't so great. So if we can just, like, that over the other tone. And you'll see why in a minute because it makes this really cool color. It does. It makes this really cool color on the eyelid. Going back to this to clean my finger. I can't find like the thing I had for cleaning my hands. So um and then we're gonna blend and on my eyelash. We're gonna blend. Blend. And in the future, would we have anything dark on the eye? Light on the eye? How are we doing this? Or do we even take something like taking this color right here? I still got to get used to the camera, right? Got to get used to using the camera. And just bring that right here. Don't be afraid to pat the color in with your finger because these don't really pick up on a brush as much as I would like it to. It does not do that. I wish it did though. But okay, now you can just blend that with your finger. Um, I will show you with the brush. Like, it looks like it picks it up, right? But in reality, where'd it go? Did it get that So it didn't really, wait, I mean, it didn't really, even after this brush has been dampened, it didn't really, you know, pick up too much. And that's why sometimes you just have to put it on different. And why are we doing a look like this today? Because it's Friday and I feel like doing something different. Futuristic Friday. There you go. Right? Futuristic Friday. Get the brush over there. Um, so then I'm going to take another color out of the safari because I can't freaking see the name. So I might just put that here, here, up here. You know, see, this actually stays for a while to where I can, except on that eye. I don't know what's up with that eye. It never really wants to stay, like, really good on that eye if you tell them. Isn't that weird? You have, like, that part of your face where nothing wants to stay. Okay? Um... <laughs> So, the next thing I'm going to do is blue eyeliner. 
I know you would think I already lined my eye, but not really. in the future uh you don't wear much uh different eyeliners now i did find some eyeliner that i'm thinking about getting getting for my birthday giveaway for next month which you guys know next month is my birthday month um, and on my birthday, I will be doing a giveaway. So, I don't want that. We're going to go back into the Akari, and we're going to take, oh, we're going to take Rage. That's what I'm using today. Team Rage. Maybe in the future, you're actually cutting down on certain things, and uh, you have to make do with what we got. We don't know that. So the future is absolutely here. Um, <laughs> so that's kind of funny. And then for, uh, I'm not going to do my cheek with anything, I think, except for maybe this color right here, which of course I cannot see. <laughs> I don't have my eyes futuristically done. There we go. What do we do for jewelry in the future? Oh, wait, you're like, wait, didn't you do your lips? Um, I want my lips right now from Sun City Sets and Candles. Oh, turn the label correct. Get it together. There we go. Don't know if you can see that. It says coffee. It does. From Sun City Soaps and Candles. This is what I have on my lips right now. It's a lip balm. It's a good one. My menthol one is around here somewhere. Um, maybe in the future. We are careful with the colors that we use, of course. Maybe we do that. Who knows? Oh, and I did use this mirror. And then just smooth it like that. That actually makes an interesting lip color. It really does. I'm glad that I have the Bia Bombshell and the Hakari. I use these a lot. 
um, together, and they're really good. Um, you're like, well, what do you do for futuristic jewelry then? Well, we have that right here. Not like I would leave that out. It's me. I would never leave that out. I had it on that wrist earlier. <sighs> Wristing myself. Um, <laughs> there. Oh, I'm not so good at rabster crap. Oh, I want to put this one on though. I do so badly. Um, I have different bracelets that I love, love using um, and just haven't worn yet. Part of the reason is because it has the lobster claw, and we all know how difficult those can be. But you know, some of these lobster claw bracelets are just freaking gorgeous. It's freaking gorgeous. So it's like take a certain way to try to like get it on your wrist, and it's not so easy. It's usually why I take um, um, the, um, that part on back. I love this bracelet, so I may just go ahead and clasp it and then um, flip it. Let's see if I can just flip this on. Take that though, not the match. So I do have a match. I have very small hands. <laughs> I do. Very small hands. In which I can slip this on. So, if it lets me today. I have a little bit of arthritis in that thumb, so. There we go. Pretty. Um, it is pretty. to actually hold it. Okay. Where's your earrings and your necklace? Oh, you're about to find out you're going to love this. I hope you do. In the future, everybody may be Counted as equal instead of segregated, like the tribe being segregated. Um, maybe one day that'll be over. Wouldn't that be lovely? Maybe some year the uh, peace treaty between the tribes and the government can be met. That would be wonderful, wouldn't it? Maybe some year. Um, yeah, that would be great. So you're like, oh, wait, this is the whole look? No, not really, because y'all know me. I have some bling on my hands. <laughs> I do, I have to have bling on my hands. Or it's not sure. <laughs> right? Or it's just not sure. I don't know, some rings, like, I need to take in because they're too, you know, big for my finger. I have, like, extremely thin fingers. I really do. So, I may just come on over here and then grab this ring, and then we're going to call this look done because it's a really pretty ring. I have so many rings. I have more rings than I do fingers and toes. <laughs> and I admit that. So. Yes. And that's the bracelet for today. 
earrings of the future um, with this necklace, which I think this is just a fantabulous necklace. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? Um, the matching bracelet to this is right here. Um, I have to send out oh, Mark his, and then um, I have this you know, matching ring. And so, with that said, futuristic, I guess I do still have my hair back. I'll know I'm going to be doing that until I'm done with that bodice. So, that's going to take another day to do. So, I thought I would just bring you a look real quick while I'm working on that. And stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. Um, next week, I will announce my... <clears throat> trick or treat giveaway it's a jewelry giveaway um, so stay tuned for that because the trick is you don't know how many pieces you're gonna get but the treat is they're all beautiful pieces because even I wear some I know I'm holding that kind of wonder woman <laughs> oh, okay We'll see you in the next one.